Okay, dokie, let's go. Sports quiz. With true learning. Okie dokie, guys. John is arriving. Oh, no, it's not. I'm going to have to keep trying this. Sometimes my screen goes dark like this, and I'm going to try, 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 like this. I can hear I can, you, but I can't see you. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try and reconnect. Is that okay? Sorry. Sorry. Sure, sorry. sure. Go ahead. We have all the time in the world. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let me try no again. Rush. Hi, Paolo. How are you? Thank you for coming. Paolo, today's live is about sports. Are you interested? Thank you for the hearts. Great. Okay, so while John is um, figuring out his internet, let's try and start the quiz, okay? So I'm going to just ask one question and we can come back to this question when John comes back. Okie dokie. Hello, Paolo. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so Paolo, our first question. Someone who earns money for doing a sport. So what's the word? What's the English word we're looking for here? Someone who earns money for doing sport. So let me think of some famous people that earn money for sports. Um, Messi is a, earns money for playing football. Uh, Tiger Woods. Oh, maybe Tiger Woods doesn't play golf uh, anymore. This is just silly. I'm going to try and sit here and watch, and maybe it'll come on in a second, if that's well, okay. We can, yeah, we can do it's the quiz before. anyway, John, because I, your voice... Yeah. Your voice is coming through. Let's just check. Paolo, Rodrigo, can we hear John? Paolo doesn't know the answer. I'm sure he doesn't. Ah! I'm sure he knows nothing about sports. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so God. The, you... the competition has started. Uh-oh. <laughs> the competition has started. Absolutely. Okay. Really hope, but if not, I, if you don't mind, I'll sit on for a second, and hopefully it'll come on. But it has happened before with my um, connection that it just... For some reason, I don't know, it doesn't work, so. No problem, that's okay. Rodrigo, can we hear John? Can you hear me? My name's John. Hi, Kira. Okay, so John is having some technical difficulties, but that's okay. And um, we're gonna go ahead and start. So, Kira, you know this one, I'm sure of it. Someone who earns money for doing a sport. Hello, Wesley. I'm back. Hi, John. I'm a visitor, but who knows? Let's see. Who, someone who earns money for doing a sport. What? A, a sports person? Uh-huh. A sports person. Yeah. Could be a man or a woman. Person. Um, uh-huh. Another answer? Teacher? Well, Kira, oh, Kira's on the ball. So hi, Blahim from Alana. Kira has given me the answer. A professional. So uh, someone who earns money for doing a sport is a professional. Hello, Teofilo. Hmm, I'm not sure no. how to say this name. Teofilo JF. Hello, English Shahab. You told me it's 3 a.m. Oh, my gosh. Go oh, my goodness. Sleep. Go to sport, sleep. Sports addict. Oh yeah, God. absolutely. Hello, Marillo. Okay, so let's go to number two. I'm going to give this point to Kira. 
John, you're in, you're in for some competition today. Okay, let's go. So, someone who watches sport, not myself, I'm not really a person that watches sport. Do you watch sport, John? John's gone. He'll be back though. Okay, hello. Thank you for coming. So guys, we're looking for the answer of this question. A person who watches sport. The word begins with S, okay? So that's the only tip I can give you. Someone who watches sport beginning with S. Um, ah! couch, couch potato, maybe? Ah! Yeah. I love this one. Let me try to, uh, to tag this. I, I've ne I haven't mastered it. This, okay, pin the comment. A couch potato, this is a good one. Uh -huh, tonight, uh -huh. Tonight's topic is couch potatoes. <laughs> tonight's topic is couch potatoes. So, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. English Shahab, do you know? Someone who watches sports? Hello, try bike transport. I'm sure you know the answer of this one. Someone, Someone who watches who... sports, um, a, a viewer? Uh, no. Could be a viewer. Mm -hmm. Could be a viewer. <laughs> Audience. No, no. The crowd. Uh, the crowd. Well, there's a crowd watching. Uh -huh. It begins with an S, John. Sportive. That sounds a bit French. <laughs> So, this one is easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys, but maybe we don't know this word, and that's okay. The word is a supporter. Someone who watches a sport is a supporter. Someone who plays a sport is a player or a competitor, an athlete, a professional, but someone who's watching the sport on TV is a spectator. Am I right, John? Ah. Poor John, he's having some difficulties here. Try bike John. So let's go. Back exactly, Lavinia. To support is to back. You can say, I back that team. I support Leeds United. I back that team. Absolutely. Great. Fantastic. Okie dokie. So next one, the piece of wood used for hitting the ball in baseball or cricket. So I'm not sure if there's many cricket fans here. Um, I'm certainly not a fan myself, but a spectator and onlooker, John, you're on the ball. Um, so a piece of wood. So we're thinking of a long piece of wood that the player has in his hand and is hitting the ball with this piece of wood. Hi, English Shahab. Hello again. Any ideas what the name of this piece of equipment is? Yes, yes, yes. The answers are coming in. Well done. Try bike transport. Bat. Bat, English Shahab. Super. A club. Hmm. Baseball club. I don't think so, John. Oh, ah, John, I wish you were here so I could kick your ass. I'm already winning. The steak. Well, Okay, Lavinia, there is a steak, but when you say a steak of wood, I think of like a long piece of wood that you want to kill a vampire with. <laughs> so we, we often hear that vampires are killed by wooden steaks, but actually, ah, a stick, okay, okay, a stick, a stick is a better guess, but steak wasn't, wasn't far off either. Okie dokie, so let's try round three. Will John make it into the live? Will he not? Let's see. Okay, We're, he's connecting. Thank uh, you, English uh, Ahab. Hello, John, you're losing I, terribly. I, I'm terrible. I'm here in the dark today and I'm wearing my headband because I've just been doing sports today to get ready for our conversation. But I think uh -huh. Instagram just doesn't want to see me today. So That's I'm okay. Just... I also did the same, John. I did a little workout before the live really? to get myself pumped up and feeling sporty. <laughs> I even have my Dublin t-shirt on. Now, I don't have a Dublin jersey. So this is uh -huh. as good as it gets for me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get so, tired. That's what I need to get. I'm pumped, ready for this. You're but pumped. Listen, so what did you say? You're wearing a headband? Of course, so my headband. have an image of you. Yeah, headband, red headband, covered in sweat, very muscular, and um, just cooling down, you know, after my protein shake. So I'm uh -huh. just ready, ready for action, you know? 
just been busy all day, so you know. Ben, Ben's dreaming, dreaming. Yes, yes. Sorry, Lavinia. John is here. His video isn't working at the moment, but we're hoping that he will be able to. We will be able to see his big muscles soon. Um, but we can hear him, and he's still here, and he's definitely with you in spirit as well. Uh, in, invisible guest, definitely not connecting today. Okay, so here we go. Mm. Ah, there's so many difficult names for me here. Leith Kuder, welcome. Thank you for coming. We're talking about sports. Okie dokie. So I think Lavinia, John, you should know this one. English Shahab, you should know this one. Let's go. The official who controls the game in some sports, e.g. football, or for example, football, is called... Hmm... The official who controls the game in some sports. So maybe if a player isn't playing by the rules, uh huh. maybe if a player isn't playing by the rules, then this person will intervene. This person will come in and say, stop, follow the rules. Hmm. Okay. So the chief. When you say chief, I think of maybe uh, the leader of uh, a tribe, okay, a chief. Um, but maybe you want to say the boss. Um, in this case, we're talking about Kier got it right, English Shahab got it right. Easy peasy. Ah, yes, yes, you could say the arbiter. Mm -hmm, the referee, yes, you got it. Fantastic, well done. Hello, Michelle, welcome. Inglés para ver, hello, welcome. We're having a sports quiz, guys. Thanks for coming. If you know the answers, I can see what you're writing here. So feel free. And also, guys, if you like the quiz, there's an area here where you can send me some hearts. So send the hearts here, guys. Arbitra. Yes, absolutely. Referee. You got it. Fantastic. Hello, Marina. Welcome. Okie dokie. Make your questions harder, man. I'm just warming. I'm just warming up too. Be ready. Be ready. Okay, let's go. Next one. When a game is finished without either team winning, for example, hi mom, one all, one one, the game ends in a, so there's no winner, guys, okay? So we have a winner, we have a loser, there's no winner. The two teams or the two competitors have the same score. Uh huh, Kira knows. Try by transport knows. Hello, Nona Maima. Thank you for coming. We're talking about sports today. Welcome. Uh, Michelle, you got it. <laughs> Hello, Vandriani. Lavinia. Lavinia, super. A draw, a draw. John. I, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, and I'm amazing. Just so I'm crying here. I feel like I've lost the match. I just can't. Yeah, well, we <laughs> still have time to call it a draw. All right. Uh huh. I think I think we still have time to call it a draw, and that's the answer of this question here. Ah. When the game is finished without either team winning, the game ends in a draw, right? Or, or a tie. A tie. That's the other one. Great. Fantastic. Okay, John gets a point. So John is back in the game. Back in the game. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Next one. Hmm. We've got number five, and we're moving on to number seven. A group of teams which compete against each other in a sport. Okay, so we can think of maybe football, basketball, team sports. And you are inside a division of this sport, depending on your age, your, your abilities. Any idea? what you would call this. So, for example, the team I was talking about earlier, Leeds United, they're probably in the lowest division. <laughs> so they're, they're in a, a, a not a very good... Ah, Michelle knows! A group of teams which compete against each other. English I have, yes, they are rivals. Well... Lavinia, we could have a race where there's groups of teams competing against each other. Yes. 
It's not the answer to this question, but it's a good one. A duel. A duel is often thought of when we're, when we're fighting more so than, than a team sport. A tournament, Kira, we could say tur tournament, definitely. League, very good. Michelle got it. Shahab got it. Super. So we're playing in a particular league. Good job, Tri Bike Transport. Fantastic, guys. Woo. Okay. So really, really nice. So far, so great. Let's go. Hello, John. A person or team that is competing against others. A person or team that is competing against others. Now, I've said this word various times already. I'm giving you some tips in advance. So you've already heard this word today. A person or team that is competing against others. Yes, you do, Rock. Well done. I am I'm back. I'm, I'm just sitting in the dark here. No, I'm annoying you. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. I love this. This is fantastic. A person that sits, oh, sorry, that sits in the dark, that competes against the others is a comp competition, comp um, let me think, opposition, compet, no, rival. Yes. We could say. Michelle's we, good. Uh, Michelle's good. Michelle's very good. That's my mom. Yeah. Mom, mom oh, knows really? what she's doing. <laughs> yeah. Rival. Um, rival. So, a competitor. rival, a competitor, mm. fantastic. I had written competitor, Good. but English right uh, with Shahab, adversary is great as well, Lavinia has said. Your, your nemesis. Nemesis. Okay, so guys, John has said the word nemesis. If someone is your nemesis, they are your enemy. So maybe don't call your, your friend that you're playing a friendly game of tennis with your nemesis, <laughs> because maybe it sounds a little bit serious. You could call them your rival or your competitor. Okay, great. Opponent, Vandriani, exactly. I'm out. Uh, okay, John, you can stay here. You can still get the answers. You don't have to be physically visible to compete. I will still accept all of your answers. Okay, Vandriani, yes, opponent, let's go. Number six, as you can see, the numbers aren't... Uh, can you join my live in 10 minutes? I sure can, John. Would you like me to move the live to your live? And then the internet will work better? Okay, I'm gonna wait. So the leader of a sports team, okay? So the leader of a sports team, I'm talking about the person that's playing with the team and is their leader, okay? So a person that is playing with the team and the leader of that team, not the coach. Hmm. Any ideas? The leader of a sports team, not the coach, Lavinia. Uh, Lavinia. So, the, so actually what we're saying is a person that's playing the sport. So imagine we're playing a football game and the leader of that football team is the captain. Very good. Good job, Rodrigo. Good job, Kira. The captain. Fantastic. Lavinia, the trainer is a person that's not on the team. So normally the trainer works with the team, like the coach. It shows the the team how to train and helps the the, the team to train but the the trainer usually doesn't pet play with the team okay great and um, let's continue here we go mm -hmm. so this one we have the first letter of the word guys when you lose against someone so you're the loser you have been hmm when you lose against someone, you have been d Well, let me give you some synonyms at least. Uh, you, oh, Lavinia, you, you got it, very good, super. So uh, you could say you have been crushed, you have been beaten, you, ha you, you have had your ass kicked. Exactly, exactly. Kira, Lavinia, you got it, defeated. When you lose against someone, yes, try by transport, you have been defeated. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay, 
Great. Well done, guys. Let me just help you with the spelling here of this one. Okay. Yes, Wesley. Perfect. Defeated. D-E-F-E-A-T-E-D. Defeated. Great. Great, Michelle. Hello, Mahdi. Mahdi. Hello. Welcome. Okay. Let's go. Next one. Are you ready? So, Lavinia, you know the answer of this one. Annihilated. Kira gave another great example of when you lose, when you're defeated. You are annihilated. So if someone annihilates you, they really, really win. We could say, I am annihilating John in this quiz because he's not here. Okay, great. Lavinia, you got it. Exactly. The trainer. The trainer. Who trains a person or a team in sport is the trainer, the coach. Great. Fantastic. Super. The boss. Yeah, I guess they're the boss as well. <laughs> the big boss. Okay, good. Very good, guys. Fantastic. Hmm, let's go. So it's starting to get a little bit more difficult with this question, but let's see if we, if we know this vocabulary. A type of hard hat, hard hat, that protects your, the head of players in some sports. Okay, so let me think of sports that players use this. Cycling, it's very important. Try Bike Transport knows that. For cycling, it's very important to use this. Hmm, the elm, Lavinia. Hmm, I'm not sure what you want to say. Maybe you're saying half of the word or a part of the word. Ah, Rodrigo knows. So, hard hat. Bang, bang, bang. If you fall on your head, you will be safe. Yes. Try Bike Transport knows this. I've actually seen Try Bike Transport having some difficulties with this piece of equipment. The Basque, Lavinia. I've never heard this word, but maybe it's a more specific word that I've never heard of. Um, Nugent Michelle, you got it. A helmet. Try Bike Transport, great. A helmet. Kira, a helmet. Lavinia, yes. Very good. Super. Fantastic. Really good. Okay. Let's continue. A period of the year when a particular thing happens. So we're talking about in sport. This word is a synonym. It's also used when we're talking about um, the different changes of the weather throughout the year. So we have four something in the year and the weather changes each of this word. Kira saying an event. Well, let's say Kira that um, we have high something and low something. In low something, not much is happening. In high something, aha, you got it, season. Season, Vandriani, great, fantastic, season, excellent. Preach it, aha, uh -huh. great. Okay, so in sports, yes, Michelle, great, Wesley, fantastic. In sports, if you're talking about maybe uh, I want to win this league or this cup, we're talking about it in seasons, there's periods of time in the year. And then maybe if you're in a sport like triathlon, you might have high season and low season. So time of the year when there's lots of events and a time of the year when there's no events or very little. Uh, great. Well done, guys. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Everyone speaks very good English in this, in this live today. Okay, great. So this word John mentioned earlier. So if you were paying attention, you've already heard it. A long metal stick used for hitting the ball in golf. Okay? Golf. Tiger Woods. We're hitting the ball with a long metal stick. What is the name, the specific name of this stick? Now, it's not a bat. Oh, this is not a stick either, Lavinia. So, oh, thank you, Kira. I'm a big fan of yours as well. Kira has it. Kira has it. So, if we're playing golf, we are hitting the ball with a golf club. 
club. C L U B club. Club. Okay? Great. A golf club. So maybe you could say, oh, I bought my father some new golf clubs for Christmas. And then you would be an extremely generous daughter or son because that's expensive. Great. Okay. Ah, oh, me too, Lavinia. I'm terrible at golf. A five iron, aha, uh -huh, that's a, a, a name of a golf club, I think. Okay, great. A, a putter, yes. So we have a five iron, if I remember correctly, is the bigger one. And the putter, we hit the ball into the, into the hole on the green, I want to say. The small area where the grass is much shorter, it's the green. Okay, great. A group of people who play a sport or game together. Now, this is really easy, guys. So I'm expecting everyone to get this super, super quickly. Because I know we had two teams here. Oh, no, I said the answer. Okay, yeah, maybe it was too good to be true, this question. I, I already said the answer. <laughs> yes, Levi, yeah, it's team, team, but I said it. Uh, very easy. Okay, let's, let's, let's move swiftly on from this very easy question and let's go someone who does something as a hobby yes wesley and not as their job someone who does something as a hobby so imagine playing a sport or doing some sort of creative thing as a hobby and not earning any money from doing so there is yes try by transport has a very important point to share there is no I in team. There is a me. Uh -huh. Exactly. There is a me in team. But it's... Um, well, really, it's not really a team and a me in team, is there? Hmm. Okay, great. Hello, Arshadali. Hello, welcome. Thank you for coming. We're talking sports. Well done, Kira. Kira, you're very good at this. Your English is great. Hi, everybody from Oman. Great. Thank you, Mahmoud. Welcome. Um, amateur. Wesley, you're very good at this. Your, your sports vocabulary is through the roof. Fantastic. An amateur. So a person who plays sports and doesn't earn any money from the sport is an amateur. Great. And let's practice just very quickly the pronunciation here. You can say amateur. 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 Great. Okay. <laughs> when you win a game, it is a... Guys, don't forget to leave some hearts for Teacher Blah. Oh, Rodrigo's a sports lover. Me too. I love sports. When you win a game... It is that. So there's many ways we can say that you are the winner or, uh-huh, uh-huh, exactly, Lavinia, a winner. When you win a game, you are a winner. And it is a, hmm. Yes. So the person is a champion. Yes. Great, Lavinia. So if you're a winner, you're a champion. Absolutely. Fantastic. Vandriani, you got it. Exactly what I was thinking. A victory. Kira, Kira has a good one here. When you win a game, it is a pleasure. Fantastic. De Try by transport. When you win a game, it's a dream. Absolutely. It is a, it is a dream. Hashtag live in the dream. Wesley, winner. Uh -huh. So the person is a winner. It is not a winner. It is a victory. Excellent. Uh -huh. When you win a game, it is a desire. Okay. So when you win a game, maybe you could say you have fulfilled your desire because you had the desire to play or to win. Um, but it isn't a desire. It's maybe something to be desired. Definitely. Okay. Okay, let's go. Next one. 
A large open area with seats around it used for playing and watching sports. When you win a, a game, it is a great time. It is a great time. Great vibes indeed if you win a game. If you win anything. I'm a little bit competitive. I love, love a little bit of competition and it's always fun to win, but it's, it's okay to lose as well. You have to be good losers. Tribuna. Hmm. Kira knows. Hmm, I'm not sure about this word tribuna. I think it might be a, a, in a different language. Yes, yes, yes. I have two answers here that I'm accepting as right, Lavinia. Yes, very good. Fantastic. So we go to a stadium. We want to play sports. We go to a stadium. No, we want to watch sports. Ah, tribuna is Italian. That's okay. Italian is welcome too. What a beautiful language. Great. Now I've learned a new word in Italian, so that's, that's fantastic. Okay, a large open area with seats around it, a stadium. Maybe you might also go and see a music concert in a, in a stadium, which is so fun. Okay, let's go. So, Try by Transport knows all about this. So does Kira. They have many of these. A metal disc given as a prize in a competition. Mahmoud, very good. Great, Wesley. A metal disc given as a prize in a competition. Lavinia, very good. So you might wear this metal disc around your neck and give the wave of victory. Thank you very much. I am the best. Yes, Kira knows this because Kira has a lot. And so does Try by Transport. Medal. Rodrigo also has a lot of medals. Mm -hmm. Me too. I'm, I'm a bit of a medal winner myself. Arshadali, a reward. Well, a medal is a type of reward, but the disc itself is called... Uh-huh. I want the trophy. Yeah, the disc itself is called a medal. Exactly, Mahmoud. It's called a medal. So, Try by Transport has said here, I want the trophy. So the trophy is the cup. So that's even better than the medal. Well, depending on the sport, maybe first prize is a medal, but that's the, the cup. So maybe you're holding the cup over your head and saying, yes, I won the trophy. I am the world champion. Gold medal, excellent. We would say gold medal. Yeah, you can say gold medal, but it'd be more common to say gold. Excellent. Excellent. Fantastic. Welcome, Jessica. Okay, let's go. Yes, medal. Fantastic. Good job. Let's go. The number zero as the score in some games is called. So imagine you're playing, hmm, no, not tennis. Imagine you're playing football um, and the score is zero. Maybe it's two zero. What's another word? For saying zero. Oh, yes, we do say oh for zero as well. Hello, Irfan. English I have trophy. Kira got it. Try by transport got it. Hello, hello, thank you for coming. Yes, English I have. Welcome back. Fantastic. So the number zero as the score in some games is called nil. And does anyone know if it's zero, zero? How can, we, how can we say this score? So at the moment, the two teams have zero. Yes, the teams are equal, uh-huh. Or they're equally hmm, scored, maybe not. But they have equal scores, yes, the same score, zero, zero. Michelle has it. Yeah, it's, yes, they drew, uh-huh. And what we would say is nil all. So if it's zero, zero, yes, you can say nil, nil as well. Absolutely, nil, nil, nil all. Great. A tie, yes, we have a tie, a draw. Nil, nil, good job. Okay, fantastic. You're all very, very impressive. <laughs> Okay, great. Do you know which sports these places are associated with? Zero, zero, Mahmoud, great. So what sport, let's say the A. 
They're even not sure. A, okay, court. And what sport do we play on a court? Or what sports? Maybe there's more than one. What sports do we play on a court? I've played many a sport on a court in my life. Yes, Kira's got one. Basketball. We, we play basketball on the basketball court. Running. I didn't know this one, Kira. Great. Running court. Soccer is not a court. Ice hockey. I think they use an arena or something. Badminton court. Yes. Uh-huh. Welcome. Hello. So we have a basketball court, a badminton court, hockey court. I'm not sure about hockey, but two people have already said hockey, so I trust you. Vandriani got it right. Yes, English I have tennis. Tennis court, badminton court, basketball court, uh, running course. Okay, Kira's already answering number letter B. Okay, so what about a course? What sport is done on a course? Oh, yeah, volleyball court, great. Golf pitch, Kira. Mm -mm. Course run, exactly, Lavinia. You run a course, uh huh, a race course, uh huh. Golf pitch, a ring, box, uh huh, we box in the ring, absolutely. We box in the ring. You could also go and see bullfighting in a bullfighting ring. So, yeah, I guess everything that happens in a ring is fairly aggressive. Fighting. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And the last one, pitch. Pitch. What sport do we play on a pitch? Hmm. Yes. Okay. So fantastic. I'm not sure about ice hockey. I'm going to check here on the internet because ice hockey is played... on what football pitch great cricket pitch baseball pitch i'm not sure but it makes sense because there's grass it, to me that's a pitch but i'm not i'm not sure about baseball pitch and put um that's a golf course right golf course and um, ice hockey also known as hop hockey uh, ah and ice hockey is played in a rink a rink ice rink that's a new one. I've never heard that one before. Okay, great. So court, let's, let's revise. Court, basketball court, tennis court, badminton court, course, race course, golf course. Um, I can't remember any other ones. Ring, um, boxing ring, maybe, I don't know, about other martial arts if they fight in a ring. Um, I feel like sumo wrestlers fight in a ring. Uh, football. And cricket. Mm -hmm. So football is played on a, crit, on, a, on a pitch. And let's check cricket. Cricket, I'm not sure. Cricket's not very popular. I'm from Ireland, so cricket's not very popular in Ireland. But I know it's really popular in, in, in other countries. Um, on a field. So we play on a cricket field. Okie dokie, let's go. Okay, the object that players hit backwards and forwards in badminton wwf yes world wrestling federation they fight in a ring they often throw each other against the ring and bounce back it's very dramatic okay so let's go the object that players hit backwards and forwards in badminton now this word is so random it's a really hard one even the word badminton is quite difficult so let's try first. Um, I don't say badminton, 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 okay? So do you know the little guy that you hit when you're playing badminton? Well, it's not a tennis ball. A tennis ball is yellow. It's a little bit heavy. This object is like netted. It's like got a hole at the top and then a kind of a cone shape. Badminton ball, good guess. Good guess. Very good. Kira got it. What's badminton? Good question. <laughs> badminton is 
similar to tennis, but the racket is tall and small at the top. And the, the item that you use to hit, oh, I think we have an emoji related to it. Fantastic. That will help. Okay, so I've tagged it here for you, Lavinia. You can see badminton is this little, um, sp this sport with these little items. And the name of the, of the ball is the shuttlecock. Try bike transport, got it right. Very good. The shuttlecock, it's very light. And if you hit the ball, it hit the shuttlecock, it goes up in the, high in the sky. Okay. Great. Shuttlecock, Michelle. Yes. Very, very good students here today. My gosh, you're all fantastic. And here we go. Next one. It's a ball with feathers. It is. Lavinia, you're very right. It's a ball with feathers. Absolutely. Fantastic. A weapon with a long metal blade and a handle used in fencing. Okay, so Lavinia, you mentioned a duel earlier. So I think you would find a duel happening in a fencing club. I'm not sure how popular fencing is in your hometown, but I think everybody knows this sport. Kira knows. Yes, Lavinia, Kira, great job, fantastic. So the answer is a sword, okay? A sword. We fight with the sword. And this part of the sword, the sharp part that you shouldn't touch, is the blade. The blade. Great. Try Bark Transport is giving fantastic emojis here. So you're going back and you're getting pinned. Amazing. Sword. So in fencing, in the sport of fencing, we use a sword to battle our competitor. Okie dokie. Let's go. A player, <laughs> a player whose job is to stop the ball from going into his or her team's goal is the, okay, so this person is the protector of the goal, okay? They do not want the ball to go in the goal. And if they're playing football, they're even allowed to touch the ball with their hands. Ireland had a great one of these in the past. I'm not sure about how our team is doing at the moment. Probably not very well. Um, great, exactly, uh-huh. Irfan, you got it. Michelle, Kira, you have it. Try bike transport, excellent. So Kira, Michelle, and Try bike transport have used an abbreviation. They said a goalie, a goalie. So you can say this as well. You can say a goalie, he's the goalie. And Rodrigo and Irfan, they have given the full word, which is a goalkeeper. So you're a goalkeeper, you're protecting the goal, you're stopping the, the ball from getting in the goal. You can also say a goalie, a goalie. Okay, let's see. Shay Gibbon, yeah, he was good, wasn't he? I think I, think I remember being a fan of his. I think he was, uh, he was a bit handsome and stuff. Okay, great, let's go. An area of land covered by snow where you can practice skiing. So while you think about this, guys, let me tell you about my experience skiing. I went skiing uh, maybe about two years ago, I think. Great, I'm happy you're learning things. How did you put this image and your picture on your site? Oh, send me a message after and I'll tell you, okay? I'll explain how I did it. Yeah, Kira's got it. Okay, so let me tell you about my experience on the slopes, guys. The answer is the slopes. But two years ago, I went skiing. It was absolutely idyllic, beautiful, fantastic, marvelous. I had the clothes, I had the uniform, the, the equipment, I was ready. I went with my boyfriend. We got to the top of the mountain and he just <laughs> went down. And I stayed there for half the day until he came back. Because once you go down the slope, it takes a long time to get back to the top. So that was a lonely experience. I think I won't go skiing again. But yes, you're right, guys. It's the slope. Oh, great. 
the slopes. We, we, we go skiing, snowboarding, um, we could say tobogganing, which is like um, in Portuguese, it's ski bunda, like boom skiing, sit, sitting down and going in the, in the, oh, I don't believe it. He's risen from the dead. John is back. Let's go. Okay, so let's, in the meantime, let's go to our next question. No. Thank you very much. It's very difficult skiing. Lavinia, oh my gosh. If you're the kind of person that's okay with falling down various times, <laughs> I guess it's fun. But for me, it was just disaster. John, have you ever gone skiing? No, it's too dark here. <laughs> it's too dark. I'm, I'm still sitting in the dark. This is not going to work for me. But I just wanted to say hello and I am loving the chat. I ended up just doing my own little baby live on my own oh. page to say hello. But I, I'm so sorry I missed our chat now tonight. Don't um, be silly. We have to do it again, John. Definitely. Have, have I ever gone skiing? No, but I have heard it's great fun and you have to be super fit. You have to be yeah. really strong in your legs mm -hmm. and to move. Have yeah. you done? Where did, where did you go to do it? Um, I, I did. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I actually did snowboarding. I did it in Chile. I used to live in Chile. And um, in, in, in Chile, they have fantastic slopes um, in the Andes. Fan like, beautiful experience. Maybe not great sports skills as far as the, as far as the skiing went. Okie dokie. So let's go for our next question. A small metal or plastic tube that the referee or coach blows to attract the player's attention. Okay? So blows. What is the name of the small object the referee blows? Oh, John, I'm raging that we didn't get to do a live together, but we will definitely, definitely reschedule this as soon as possible because it, we would have had great fun. Puyan, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Michelle, great. Kira, good. Very good. Irfan, yes. Lavania. Oh, Lavania is teaching me some more beautiful Italian. Christina, thank you very much. Absolutely. So for anyone that doesn't know this word, let me tag you here. Uh, Irfan got the answer right, so I'm going to tag him here. So you can see the word doesn't necessarily look how it sounds. So let's practice this word together. Whistle. Whistle. The trainer blows his whistle to get the attention of his team. Okay? Whistle. Great. Okay, so I'm going to try and say this word in Italian. Let's see. Il fischietto. Il fischietto. Fischietto? I think I'm close. I'm, I'm going to Google this after. I, I, I have a note here. Okay, great. So let's go. 29. Here we are. A game played on ice in which players slide heavy flat stones towards a mark. So this was a tough question that I really wanted to, to make John, teacher John, sweat with this question. But maybe someone here knows. No, my pronunciation is wrong, right? Fischietto, fischietto, fischietto. Well, it sounds much nicer than whistle, I'll tell you. Um, okay, great. So a game played on ice in which players slide heavy flat stones towards a mark. Right, thank you. Great, great. I'm learning Italian in my English class. That's beautiful. Mm -mm. No. No, Michelle, not ice hockey. So we're thinking of a long, a large stone that you push along the ice. Kira's close. She's one letter off. We're pushing it. <laughs> yes, Michelle, you got it. Fantastic. So this one I thought was going to be really, really hard, but obviously it wasn't that hard. Curling is the sport. I wonder, do we have an emoji related to curling? I don't think so. Okay. If we do, guys, if we have any emojis related to, to, to curling, please feel free to leave them there. Yes, Puyan, Persia, curling. Fantastic. Oh, guys, we're, oh my gosh, time flies, right? Can you believe that that's been 50 minutes? Okay, so we're nearly done. 
Curly hair. So actually the name of the sport is curling. Yes. <laughs> Kira got it before Michelle. We have some friendly competition happening here, which is great. Um, curling, curling is actually a sport. But if you were to talk about hair, you could, for example, be using an iron in your hair and say, at the moment, I'm curling my hair as a verb. But the sport curling is like a big um, plate that they push along the ice. Okay, let's go. Thank you very much, Christina. You are an excellent teacher as well. Guys, if anyone here is interested in studying Portuguese, I highly recommend, I'm going to tag this teacher here. She is fantastic. She's from Portugal. Christina is her name. You should go onto her page. Okay, let's go. Creased dress. Hi, Patrick. Oh, Patrick, you're, near, you're near after missing loads of great questions that you, I think you would have known the answers to. We're having a sports quiz here. Hello, Ali Dromer. Welcome. Okay, let's go. How many holes? Oh, this one's for you, Patrick. How many holes are there on a golf course? Holes. How many holes are there on a golf course? Hmm. One, Puya, maybe a mini golf, a very, very bad mini golf. <laughs> How many holes? Patrick knows. I knew, I knew he was going to get this one. This is an easy one. Patrick plays golf. Well, Kira, I'm impressed. Lavinia, why are people saying one? Hmm, is there some sort of golf that I'm not familiar with? But one hole. No clue about golf. Me neither. Me neither. But I know that there's 18 holes and we play golf on a golf course. Golf course. Only one hole. Christina, 15. Okay. So maybe the rules change uh, from country to country, but I'm pretty sure it's always 18. Uh, it's a rich game. Yes. Great. Great. Good, Michelle. Fantastic. Let's go. Uh, what's the name of the object shaped like a bottle which players try to knock down? Yes, golf course, basketball court, exactly. Course, court, great. Um, okay, so we're playing bowling. You have your bowling ball. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, Patrick, you have your bowling ball and you throw the bowling ball and you want to knock down the skittle. Hmm, I, I, I'm not sure about skittle. Patrick knows, Kira knows. Bowl, so to bowl is the verb, okay? So to bowl or to go bowling. Pin, exactly, okay. So you wanna knock down your bowling pins. Bowling pins. Yes? Got it? P-I-N-S. Pins. Too slow, Kira. Yes, bowling ball. Okay, so the heavy ball you have is the bowling ball. You're playing bowling in the bowling alley. Okay, you go to the bowling alley to, play, to do bowling or go bowling. So here's a tip for you guys, okay? If you're playing a sport by yourself, you can say do. So for example, do yoga, do jujitsu, do... I can't think of another one. And if it ends in an ing, you can say go. So go running, go cycling, go dancing. Okay, let's go. Uh, it's the pin. Fantastic, guys. So this one's really hard. Uh, let's see if anyone knows this one. When and where were the first Olympic Games celebrated? Maybe Patrick knows this one. Do karate, exactly. Do karate. Did you know I actually have a black belt in karate? Yeah, I can kick ass. But I haven't practiced karate in many years, so maybe I'm a bit lower now. Mm -hmm. Karate, karate, jiu-jitsu, judo, taekwondo, tai chi. So does anyone know when, when or where? Either answer. Where? Yes, Lavinia. Great. Uh-huh. 
Guyan. Uh uh. Yes, Patrick knows. The place is right. Yes, the live will be on Instagram after I'm going to save the live and it's going to be in my IGTV, okay? So all of this, the full hour will be recorded. Kira's really struggling, Patrick. I agree. She should be better at this. Her English isn't, isn't improving. Athens, Greece. Uh-huh. Okay. So great. So we have the place. Let me tell you the year. Um, I've already forgotten, but let's just check here. Um, the year is 776 BC. Kira, almost really close. 776 BC in Olympia, Greece. 776. Okay, great. Fantastic, guys. Let's go. Yes. Uh huh. BC is before Christ. Absolutely. Kira's Googling the answers. I agree, Patrick. Okay, here we go. So, what generic name? I've said this already, guys. Everything that's in these questions, I'm, I'm saying the words before the questions come, so you have them there somewhere. What generic name do we use, which includes sports like judo, karate, 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 uh, tai chi, uh -huh, before Christ? <laughs> Kira doesn't agree. Christina, you got it. Fantastic. Yes, Puyan. Does anybody here do any martial arts? I recently took up jujitsu. I've been doing jujitsu at home with my partner. I've been kicking his ass on the daily. Great, Kira. Martial arts. Fantastic. So, Tai Chi, Karate, Judo, um, jujitsu, all of these. Full contact sports, martial arts, Michelle. Good job. Fantastic. Okay. I think we have time for one more, or maybe we have time for two, but let's try it. Definitely one. Uh, this one's for you, Kira. How long is a marathon? And I want the exact number, guys. Blahin is a black belt in Shotokan karate. It's true. And Blahin is me, by the way, teacher Blah. Ah. Christina says she kicks her pillow with some Z's. She likes to nap. I shall. Hmm, Kira, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. 48 hours, Brian. Gosh, 48 hours is a long time. Kira, good. Well, the number, the exact number I have, I'm not sure in miles now, Michelle. The exact number I have is 42.193 kilometers. And Kira has guessed 42.2. I think she's been there, done that, has the medal. So, very good. Okie dokie, guys. Ah, uh, no, see, that's... <laughs> so, guys, the time is just about to end. Um, so, our live is going to get cut off. Um, I have still loads of sports questions. So, if you would like another sports quiz, please feel free to leave a thumbs up in the, in the comments below. And I'll certainly do another quiz. This was so much fun. You, really impressive, guys. Your sports knowledge is fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody. A pleasure, a pleasure to be here today speaking English with you. And for anybody that wants this live afterwards, it's going to be available on my TV. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, Kira. Thank you, Rodrigo. Lavinia, thank you. Thank you so much, Irfan. Good. I'm glad everybody had a nice time. Great. Thanks, guys. See you next time.